All right, welcome back everyone. In this episode, we're going to be fixing that little bug that we had last time. It's actually really easy. It's going to be in the monster turn. Here we go. The reason why the health wasn't working is because we're only subtracting from the first one. We have to actually replace this with the selected and not zero. There we go. And that's it. So now when we play, if I switch to a non-existent Dokemon, apparently. Um, let's go to my game. Add a Pinkmon. Oh, I just realized that's my reference. <laughs> okay, well, I just fixed it in my reference. Now let's fix it in my game again. So let's go back here into the battle monster turn. Here we go. Uh, selected. Okay, let's try one more time. This is an action. Switch. Let's go to the purple mon. And now, hopefully, yeah, there we go. Now the HP is updating. And now if I fight, it should work like normal. And there we go. And hopefully, fingers crossed, I can switch back and the HP works. And it subtracts from this one. Perfect. Everything is working pretty good in, the, in our game. Um, now let's actually end up doing the save and load. So... In this video, we're going to be doing saving and loading. So let's go to our utils and we're just going to work on the script for now for this video. And then we'll kind of end up um, testing and doing a bunch of other stuff later. So the first thing we want to do is have two constants, a save path and save uh, password. This will just allow us to have a path and a password. The password, obviously, you don't want to do password, but for the sake of the video, that's what we're going to do. Now we're going to have a save function called save game. And this is pretty easy. We just have to say variable file is equal to act file access dot open save path. And we're going to write into that file. Now we're just going to say variable J string is equal to JSON dot stringify game dot selected because um, Godot can easily stringify a dictionary. And usually we want to make it but this is already made for us. It's already a dictionary. So that's it. And it's three lines of code. Now we just store it. And that's, that is it. We don't even have to close it because Godot 4 does that for us now. And that's it. Now loading is going to be more fun. <laughs> loading, this is going to be a bit hard trickier. So let's load in a few things. This is going to read it. So we're going to read instead of write. It's the same thing. We're going to say if the file is empty, we're going to return. Again, we're going to check to see if it's empty. Just a different way. I'm not sure why. I had this problem mainly in Godot 3.5. I haven't had it too much in Godot 4, but for some reason, sometimes it would miss this and only return on this. But I'm not sure. Um, you can only use one if you'd like, but I just have both as a um, safety measure, essentially. All right, now we're going to say if the file access file save path exists is true, then we're going to create a current line. No, sorry. We're going to say if the not file of end of file has been reached, then we're going to create a current line. And we're going to do that by saying current line is equal to JSON parse string file dot get line. Now this will essentially print a line for us. It'll print the dictionary for us. Now let's for loop through the current line and fill in our game. Now this is going to be the hard part. I'm going to copy everything over and we're going to explain it. Okay, so we're going to essentially be adding the dokimons with the function add dokimon. Now what the way we do this is by just saying the current line dot name. So we add that dokimon and then we're going to edit the dokimon. Okay, because we can't just load in dokimons anymore with dictionaries. It doesn't work very nicely, not with dictionaries and strings. Um, there's just a lot of issues, especially in converting things. And there's just a lot of issues. So this is what I found to be the best method and the least amount of code. So essentially, we just have to make sure that we update the things that are changed. So level XP, max XP. Um, if you change anything else, like let's say attacks, you will want to save that and load that. Um, anything else has to be loaded essentially after. Okay, so here we're going to change the level and update the level. We're going to update the XP and we're going to update the max XP. Now, of course, if you want to do health and max health, that can also be done. All right, now let's go to our battle. And if you remember here somewhere, here it is. 
we have the save game. Okay, in our world, what we're gonna do, no, let's actually do this in utils. No, sorry, let's do it in game. Let me, what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically save and load the game. So let's play. And then we're also gonna print the selected document. So let's print. Now what we should be able to do is comment this and this out and this out. Now let's load and then print the selected Dokemon and see what we get. Okay, there we go. There's our Dokemon. So we have the first one, which is pink one. And then if we scroll down a little bit or not scroll, but if we kind of look a little bit, we should be able to find one. It should be one. Here it is. One and then pink purple mon. So we have two Dokemon. So we have this guy. This is one dictionary. And then we have another dictionary, which is the purple mon. Now, if I were to save and load, it should remove everything. So now we don't have anything. Now, if I do this, now let's try one more time. Oh, that was messy. Um, let's yeah, save, load. Okay, let's comment that out, comment that out. Let's now, what we'll do is we'll actually load the game. We'll add and then save. And now let's see what we get. We should have three Dokemon. Okay, it's really, really messy. Let's take a look here. We have quite a few. So we have Purplemon, Pinkmon. We have quite a bit. Um, I probably messed up somewhere along the line, but this pretty much works. So now let's remove this, remove this. Let's actually wipe our dictionary so we can save and load. That'll just wipe the entire dictionary. And then let's comment this out. Let's... Um, Add a Dokemon. So let's um, let's add a Pinkmon. Go over here. I'm gonna take this out and save and load the game. Yes. No. Yes. That should give me one Dokemon. No, it gives me two because I saved and then loaded. Okay, I want to put it right after and then save. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Sorry, guys. Save and load to empty it. And then we'll add it and then save. Okay, now our game has one Dokemon. Now what we should be able to do is um, let's play. Let's remove this and play. Now we should have one Dokemon. Now let's play the game. Let's go here. Let's capture this guy. So let's fight this guy and capture him. So let's fight, blast, and... Let's capture him. So capture. And it's going to capture him. I should have two Pinkmon now. So let's go to the remote. Let's go to the window. Oh no. So game. And let's go to our selected Dokemon. And here we can see we have two. This guy should be Pinkmon. And so is this guy. But this guy will have 89 health. And the other one. Oh, and this guy has level two. So we can see that the XP is working. XP zero. Max XP. Again, remember guys, if you want to... Um, upgrade the strength and health and defense and all that stuff you have to make sure you load that in okay but that's pretty much it that's the load and save it's pretty simple it's not too complicated from your side uh, for me making it was very complicated and mind-numbing um, mainly because of this but um, if you find a better way to do it go for it um, this is just something i found the best but yeah it works and i will see you guys next time Bye bye